Hey, it's Josh. Uh, I'm going to show you how this Cal Blue Plus gas leak detector works. I got this one unit over here. I got up here and checked it, and it was just dead. Completely dead. No Freon, no nothing. It's been sitting for a while. It's on a commercial building. I have two units. That one's working good, but. So I hooked my gauges up, and it was completely dead. And I was looking all over for leaks anywhere, leaks anywhere, the Schrader cores, check those, I was checking those. And finally I got in here. And you can see those little tiny leaks popping up. And then all down there, these are all leaking. See if I got my camera in there. You see that leaking? They're leaking all the way down. So, I'm gonna have to reach in here with my torches and braze all these fittings right here. It's leaking down here, 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 here. I got one over here, I got one over here. But they wanna try to salvage it, so. Luckily, I'm the best brazer in the world. No. <laughs> I do have a... Uh, my dad was telling me about these headbands from Lowe's. Uh, I don't know if you've seen them. My friends think I look like Hulk Hogan or something, but... I don't know. You get them wet and you snap them and... I don't know. It's a humid... You kind of feel humid with them, but... They work all right. I'll probably give an update later on on how well they work, but at least takes the edge off a little bit. You gotta wet them every once in a while, but not bad. But anyways, I got a lot of work to do here, so maybe I'll shoot another video and see if it holds, and we'll go from there. Okay. Well, I got them all brazed up, but I have two more little leaks there. I found them there and there little micro leaks but I got all the back ones brazed up all good I'm gonna braze those up put a vacuum on it and we'll see how it goes all right got all the leaks fixed braze those up braze the top and I'm all patched up down there all the way down it's definitely not easy but Got all those bad boys right behind there, behind there. Pulling my microns right now. Nah, I'm only at 800 microns. But on a side note, this is my new electronic cigarette, the Vamo. I like my dicky pants because, or shorts, because I can throw it right there and just leave it there. I lost one. I had a Joytech, one of those Joytech electronic cigarettes. Lost it in the attic when I was welding a coil up. But uh, I'm kind of happy with this. You know, just the settings. Gets me through the day, I guess. Anywho, we'll uh, pretty much put this thing back together if it holds. It's gonna, I'll let it sit for a while. But it's still pulling. Pulling those microns down. Alrighty. I'll probably film it and see if it's running, show it running and whatnot, and the pressures maybe. That's about it. So we're stable. 667 microns. So I'll just wire this thing and put this, all this stuff back together and add some freon and see how it goes this thing holds Let's see here right there seven pounds 22.